Hello friends. Hi, this is Mr. H. I'm helping out with kindergarten while Miss Conception uh, has time with her baby. So here I am. Anyway, we're talking today about brainstorming. And brainstorming, I don't know if you know about, it sounds funny. And it is kind of funny, actually. What it means is, it doesn't mean that your brain is in a storm. It means that you're going to let every idea that comes out of your brain out. Like a rain cloud lets every drop out. So that you get a whole bunch of ideas. And you can do this by yourself. You can do this with another person. And it can work either way. So, what we're going to brainstorm about is our steps for our how-to video. The kindergarten teachers and I have decided that we are going to talk, uh, we're going to at, do a how-to about making a cup of cocoa. Okay? Now, that doesn't mean that that's what you're going to write about, but it means that that's what we decided we're going to talk about writing about. Okay? All right. So, the first thing we got to think about is steps. And that's what we're doing. We're brainstorming steps. Brainstorming means that you just think of ideas and you just keep thinking about ideas. And then sometimes you'll get this idea that you think is really good. The important thing to remember is steps. So, you go one step, two step, three step. You can't go from one step to three step to two step because, I mean, you might play around on stairs, but really you got to go from the first to the second to the third. So we need three steps in order. So three steps in order. So we're going to think about Coco. So we have cocoa, and we have to think about what are the steps to make cocoa. And another way you can think about this is beginning, middle, and end. Beginning, middle, and end. So what's the first thing you do to make cocoa? What's the second thing you make to make cocoa? What's the last thing you make to make cocoa? And that's another way you can think about it. You can think of it as first, second, and third. First, second, and third, beginning, middle, and end. Okay, so we have to have these in order. We don't want to go out of order. So, what is the first step to make cocoa? Well, Mr. H doesn't make cocoa like with milk and that kind of stuff. Mr. H makes it kind of the easy way. So what he does, what I do, is I'm going to have an envelope of cocoa powder. And I'm going to pour the envelope into the cup. That's going to be my first thing I'm going to do. That's the beginning. So you could put a number one there to remind you that's your first step. 
Okay. Number two. Okay, what are we going to do for number two? Well, number two... We're going to pour hot water in. And if you were going to do this, if you were going to do this, you might want an adult because you're going to have to use a stove or something like that. So first, I'm going to pour the cocoa into the cup. Second, I'm going to pour the hot water on top of the cocoa. And then the final step, my last step, is I'm going to take a spoon and stir it up. So, when you're doing steps, you think of them in order. One, two, three. You think of first, second, third, or beginning, middle, and end and then you write your steps down. Now, something could take more than three steps to make, but we're gonna start out with three. And second of all, things can take less than three steps, but they're kind of boring. So try right now to think of three steps for your process, for what you're going to teach us how to make, okay? And that's what that's what the brainstorming session is about. You start thinking about what's the, what's the beginning, what's the middle, and what's the end. All right. You give it a good try, and we'll read your stories later. Thanks.